Hello everyone! I think I'm live on there now. Yep, that seems to be all good. I'll prop you up there. Um, actually live just before 3 o'clock today, which is fantastic. So I'm going to switch everything on, light the candles, and then I'm, I'm all good and set up. I uh, shouldn't be any messing on with technology today. I should know what issues will arise if they do. So that's all good. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I woke up from a nap not too long ago. I should note... Oh, ignore that. That was just me dropping a thing. Um, I still haven't done a journal entry, which is quite annoying. But I have been working on a blog post. Uh, let's do this. There you go. That's promising. And then put this protected card, of course. So I'll switch that off. See, this is annoying with the SD card now. Let's do that. So it just has to be up towards the card. Let's try this. I keep nudging a switch. Protective card, okay. So it's the other way. That's what's going to go down, I think. Power on. It's really strange how with these three in the morning live streams, there's, there's something that's going on preventing me from doing it exactly three. Like night visions are. Why is it still saying protected card? What? Is that so you try it in the middle? Cards in. It's all good. Can't go in the, the other way, that don't work. You will get there eventually with this. Yesterday I managed to fix it immediately. Protected card. is making no sense. So I've put the the switch so it's now pointing towards um, where it connects. Let's see if this works. Protected card. So we'll remove that. Does the switch keep on just pushing itself upwards? And the switch is now pushed up all the way. To be on the other side. Protected card. What? This is making no sense. What am I doing wrong? Yeah, oh, it's got a thing pushing it. Something within the camera is pushing this little thing up. It's pushing the switch. I don't know why. Would work then. Let's see if that's worked. Uh, 
Pass it out. Right, and oh, again, this is a thing. I'm going to show you the issue quickly. Oh, quickly unplug the camcorder to show you this issue. As you can see, with the SD card, if I can actually line it up in a place where you can see it, at the very top there, you can see this little switch. I'm pretty sure that switch has to stay in this position. When I'm putting it into the camcorder, it's knocking it over this way. When it's over this way, it's not good. When it's this way, it's good. So, I don't have a clue what's going on with it. Is it because of the switch wasn't in position when I was putting the SD card in? Because I've not had this issue before. So we're gonna we're gonna try and fix this. Because again, like this is why I'm like, I need to try and sort this out fifteen minutes beforehand because protected card. And now when I remove that, I bet, I bet it's going to be out of position. Yeah, there you go. It's been nudged over to the side. I don't know what's going on with this. I don't have a clue. There is something within the camera, I think, that's nudging that switch. And I don't know what to do about it. Look, it's actually kind of within the within the camera. There is something that's nudging it, and I don't know how to how to solve that. And I can't put it in the other way around or anything like that. Yeah, so straight away, as I, as I try and clip that in, it's it's nudging the switch and saying it's protected. I, I honestly have no idea what, it, what to do. Um, I'm going to have to go to Google quickly on this other device. See, again, I was ready and, you know, to start at three, like I said at the start of the stream, I just had to sort out some candles. That's what I got to today. I was like, oh yeah, start stream a little bit early. But no. Let's see if it's a thing with the actual Okay, so that didn't do it then I don't think Yeah, so that's kind of keeping it in the in roughly the same position so is it the actual SD card itself going in? That's the issue? Well, that can't go in that way around. It's been there and there. Yeah, and then suddenly it gets moved. Uh, 
Okay, so is it a case of the actual SD card? Right, let's see if it's an issue with the SD card. So I'll do a quick check with the other card. Because for some reason, when I'm when I have an SD card within the SD card slot, it's moving the thing. And say, so, no, oh, it's unprotected. Um, so I'm just going to check that the other SD card, the other micro SD is empty. And we'll try it with that one. Yeah, like, let's see. Yeah, because I'm just inserting the, isn't it? it the switch is still budging, but not by the same amount. So I don't know what's going on. Yeah, because this one looks fine, right? In regards to SD card space. So we'll move that. It is how can you got three nights not have an issue and then suddenly night number four. So like I said with these three in the morning live streams, it's just all going wrong. Because I said right at the start of the stream, oh I even know what the issues are that I'll be facing. Right, this is, I'm going to just do a leap of faith there, and in trust that that is going to work. Let's see if it does. Will this work? Right, put that on night vision, and lo and behold, protected card. Why is it saying protected card for all my SD cards? What have I done that I didn't do the past many days? Because the night vision footage is quite important. Because obviously, um, you know, you, you can't really see anything on the Facebook live stream. So and I've lost my little I oh know it's on here, that's good. So yeah, if anyone is watching and knows how to fix this protected card issue, it would be much appreciated. <laughs> because basically what's happening when I'm trying to set up the night vision camera is I've got uh you know the SD adapter thing to have a micro SD in it. Um and what is happening with the camcorder, you've got a little switch on the side of this, uh, which you might be able to see up at the top, I'll cover the light. I don't know if you can see it, but you, there's a little switch at the top there, where if you have that in a particular position, it's not going to rise to the SD card. So I put the micro SD in here, I put it in the camcorder, and then it's saying protected card, because as putting it in the camcorder, it's nudged the switch. And it keeps nudging the switch into the position where it's not going to arrive to the SD card. So if anyone knows how to how to solve that, please let me know. Um, but yeah, it's really annoying because, like I said, we need the night vision camera, really. Um, so I'm going to contact um, someone now, see if they have any advice.
let's see. Right there, go. I've asked for technical assistance. Hopefully, I get a response on that. Because like I say, it, it seems fine when just inserting... Oh, thank you very much, Sean Oriento, for liking the video. Um, yeah, uh... Sorry for the, the delayed start in the investigation. I'm trying to sort out the night vision camera. Um, also, just so you know, all the night vision footage from last night is now uploaded onto the True Paranormal YouTube channel. Um, yeah, the current issue um, with the camcorder being set up is, yeah, the, the micro SD. So I'm waiting for, for advice on that. Um, all right, I'm going to go to Google for the time being. Uh, also, big thanks to, I think, Jean Feminsky might be your name. Um, that's a lot of, a lot of the posts that I put up. Uh, do, 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 do. Camcorder. SD card issue. Yeah, the problem can accidentally happen if the right protect switch is moved and was locked as the memory card um, is being inserted into the camera. So I'll move the right switch to the up or right position then reinsert the card to the camera. I mean, it's one of those where it's like, do I have to insert the SD card afterwards? Maybe that'll work? Let's remove the, the charger from that a sec. So put that down. Let's insert that. And so that then kind of works still. So I've inserted that. Would it then work if I insert this afterwards? Maybe. Let's try it. Because it might just be a case of I'm putting stuff in the wrong order. Because so far I've been inserting the, the big SD card and the micro SD card. Alright, let's see. Power and then record. Yes, we're live! I have sorted it. I know the, the way around the issue. Yes. <laughs> that is good. Right. Now hopefully the camcorder stays, but again, it's now quarter past. This is, you know, I, again, going back to that phrase of the paranormal thrives on technical malfunction. Is that good? Maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm so sorry for, for the delay there. Um, it is currently quarter past three. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. There we go, just let my technical person know I've sorted that. Right, I'm going to switch on Spirit Talking now, just so that then we can get on with the investigation. 
because again, this was going to run late. Sorry for anyone who tuned in briefly. Uh, once that's set up, we should be all good. I'm going to pop these into here. There we go. Boom. And then. There we go. But yeah, so, you know, that phrase, paranormal thrives on technical malfunction. Three in the morning live streams. I don't know if the first live stream was quite this hectic. I mean, it's one of those where that was the first live stream, so you'd expect technical issues, but come on. I encountered this issue yesterday, and it, it was resolved once I'd Googled it. Again, I had to Google it again here, but, um, right, I think we're, we're good. You can see the board and everything. So I'll flip that around. There we go. Still recording, right? Yeah, still recording. Uh, put again, same battery for the bear into the bear. Um, you know, it, it is a new battery. Um, the bear hasn't been lighting up that much, so it, body. Okay, I just said body. Yeah, the bear's not been lighting up too much, so should be good on batteries. Um, quickly light all the candles. I can move this bag out of the way. Chuck it onto the chair. Don't want to accidentally light the bag on fire. Yeah, so a uh, big thank you to anyone who's liked my posts and shared my posts and things. Um, right, I can use that. Uh, yeah, it's very much appreciated because, uh, you know, I'm not being paid for, for running the blog or the page or anything like that. Um, obviously one day I'd, I'd like to be, but, um, you know, it's it's one of those. I'm very happy. Oh, you're very happy. That's good spirit. Um, yeah, but it's one of those. It's like all in good time, you know. And I'm gonna try and make everything as free as I can. So, right. I think I've just nudged the bear a bit then, because the bear is lighting up a little on its arm. So we'll we'll leave that to a settling period. Um, again, I have put up the, the cat balls on the, the top stairs, like the, the top of the stair. The top of the stairs. Uh, just check how sensitive that is. Not sensitive enough. I need new cat balls, I've decided. Because, I mean, look, I'm, this is on. I don't know if you can actually see from there, but look. There you go. Look, this cat ball is on. And it, it took that much to actually light it up. So it is not quite the sensitive device that I would want it to be. So I think the batteries are going a bit on the on the cat balls, which is a shame. Um, that's all good, so we won't switch anything off just yet. I'm going to put the planchet on the weed board. There you go, that's on there. Hopefully I've not just nudged that out of, out of shot. Uh, do, do, do. Um, again, we're going to start with the plasma ball this session. So the plasma ball is going to be on from the beginning. Is that on vibrations? Yeah, that's on the vibrations. Okay, there you go. There we go. We're live, we're set up. It's all good. The time is currently about 22 minutes past three. I'm noticing a common, a common occurrence here um, about, you know. All right, so far it said body, I'm very happy in the Are you world. okay? It said, are you okay again? Yeah, I'm fine, spirit. I'm all right. I'm okay. Right. I don't know whether or not you can see the, the Ouija board, because I think you can. I'm going to just go over here a little bit. Okay. 
you see that? You could see it yesterday. I'm just not too sure how much you can see. Tom Terror. Tom Terror? Yeah, Tom Terror. That's a weird one. Um, because how much can you see? I think you can just does. maybe just have to see it possible. I want to nudge that to the to the right a bit. I think because I don't know how much you can see. Because then, yeah, you can see the fans of all now. So that's good. Realm. Realm? So yeah, I think you can see the Ouija board. I think. Let's move forwards. I don't know. I don't know. Um, you can see the bear, right? On that. Yeah, I think memories. you can see the bear a bit. Let's move it back. What's this space? That's just the space right next to me, isn't it? Again, I could do with the bear like being raised about here. I think you can see the bear. I think you can see the bear, okay. Maybe if I moved it. Up here. I don't want it to be too close to the candles. I'm just going to move this a bit. There you go. I think it's one of them where I'm just like, I don't know what you can and cannot see. I think I need to angle this down, don't I? There you go, now you can definitely see the bear. There we go, right. Ah, that's good. So, that's the bear, I've just picked that up. Check that you can, yeah, you can see that, that's good. Oh, that's what this blood Doctor. The thing is. And then, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Hello to everyone watching. Unfortunately, I've just had to start the investigation now because of technical difficulties. Um, but I've set up the plasma ball, uh, which you can see there on the, the screen. I'm, it's going to flash now. There you go. Scroll. That's the plasma ball. Um, I've got a night vision camera set up. Um, so all the night vision footage will be uploaded to YouTube tomorrow. Well, well later today. Some point within the next 24 hours. Um, I've got... Spirit Talker running. So far it said body, I'm happy, war, are you okay? Tong Terror because realm, have memories, doctor, and scroll. Unlawful. And that's an unlawful. Uh, that's interesting, that's a doctor and then scroll. Uh, both of those seem somewhat related. War as well is interesting. Um, as it has said that in you know, the past couple of days it's lost its leg in a war or something like that. It, it's made reference to war before. Yeah. Oh my god, it said RAF. Um, so yeah, so it's throwing out words today, throwing out words in the morning, well, um, you know, in this, this time as it's approaching half three, I've got a planchet on a Ouija board, um, which, you know, I'm doing by myself, you can't see it on the night vision, which is a shame, uh, no, you can't see it on the night vision, you can't see it on the live stream, which is a shame, because, you don't know, you can't really see a great deal. On the live stream, uh, you can see the plasma ball, you can see the candles, one of which has gone out um, just now, but you can't really see anything else. But don't worry, I will share the night vision footage to YouTube for the True Paranormal YouTube channel, and you can watch everything on there. Um, so like really, ideally, I'd uh, do a, a night vision live stream. But I don't have a night vision camera to live stream from. Just from one of my tablets. So it is what it is, you know? Uh, so you're just stuck with mostly audio and just kind of shadows for the Facebook Live. Um, right, 
So let's get on with the investigation. Hello, Spirit. This is night number four. Um, I believe it's the 5th of October. Because, um, you know, like, I didn't do an investigation on the 1st, so we're kind of a day behind. Um, yeah, hello. I've been investigating for the past few days in a row now. So, would you like to... Wyatt. Do... Okay, it's just said Wyatt. Is there anything in particular you'd like to say today, Spur? Again, I've got punch on the Ouija board. I've got it uh, raised again so you can hopefully see this on the night vision camera. Um, so I don't know until I look at the footage to see exactly what you can see, but I'm pretty sure you can see it. Um, I know you can see the plasma ball. It's one of those where it's like, I'm looking at the reflection of that camera um, and I don't know how far off this is from being just off the edge of the camera. Um, yeah, because I'm pretty sure when I had it, I think it, it, either just on camera or just off camera. I think it was fine yesterday. I think you could see it yesterday. It's just obviously I don't know if, you know, because nudging the, the case it's on, forwards and backwards throughout the day, nudging the camera left and right. I don't know if it's still on camera or not. Um, so yeah, so hello, Spirit. Um, yeah, how are you today? I hope you're all right. Um, I've had a nap as well, I should know, uh, for like the last kind of six hours or so. Um, I think I've had a, a sleep from about nine o'clock-ish. Unfortunately, I've not made a journal entry yet. I have started a new blog post, though. Um, so yeah, so... The woods. Yeah, it's just at the woods. So that first journal entry is going to be quite big and probably um, not, I mean, look, nothing really has happened through the investigations, um, aside from certain, a certain pattern with the words list, and my voice is going. <coughs> oh, yeah, so sorry if I'm sounding strange, I'm still ill, it is much better today, I didn't have any paracetamol through the day, but I did just before this investigation began. Um, just to, you Good know, evening. keep me well. Good evening to you too, Spirit. All these word lists will be uploaded to Facebook as well, so when we reach the, um, the end of the 10th investigation, I will upload the first 10 word lists to Facebook, um, for you to, to look through. Uh, there'll be no analysis until, uh, until November, um, so... By the end of November, I would hope to have um, done posts on a fair few of the investigations, probably not all of them, but I'd have, I'm, I'm going to work through them too. Oh, thank you very much for lighting up the bear spirit, if that was you. Thank you very much. Right, it's important to note with the bear, you've just seen on the live stream, <clears throat> the legs just lit up. I haven't moved. Um, you'll be able to look at the night vision footage. The bear isn't on the footage. For the night vision. However, <coughs> my voice is going. However, ew, I think I just you cocked out some phlegm. That was disgusting. On the night vision footage, you can't see the bear, but you can see me. You can hear my reaction. You can line that up with the Facebook Live if you if you want. Um, but you will see me. I don't know if you can see my legs and how much I'm moving. My legs are not moving much. I will just. Do a good bit of a shake now. There you go. That on the night vision footage you'll be able to see I moved far more than I was moving when the bear lit up. Wyatt. It's just said Wyatt again. Um if your name is Wyatt, please light up the bear again. Like that was you, Spirit, please light up the bear. Um but you've seen that the bear was still for a good bit of time. It it had been a good five minutes perhaps, at least. That that bear had been still for. I do say that there is a settling period. You know, looking at it from a sceptical standpoint, there is a settling period to the bear. Um, the leg that lit up was the most sensitive part of the bear. Well, at least I would determined as the most sensitive. Um, so it could have just been that. It could have been the settling period having a bit of an extended time. Nasty. But that's the first time across the past few nights the bear has lit up untouched. Now you might say, oh, you've used the same battery each time. It's the battery gun. 
I don't know why the battery would be going when it's lit up as few times as it has. That battery, in theory, is not being used, or at least is hardly being used, because it's not been lighting up much. It's only been yeah. lighting up when I've been putting it down. Maisie and Jim have just been said. That's interesting, because Maisie has been said on previous word lists. Jim was said on the first word list. It's going to be really interesting seeing how many of these words are overlapping between these lists. Um... Because out of all the words it can say in this app, it is saying a fair few repeated ones. It said why it twice. Is why it going to be the one where it might say it six times in this investigation? Because that's one of the things I'm expecting. Because again, first one, dirty was said three times. Second one, uh, nice to meet you was said four times. Then last night, my name is, and then it said a name, was said five times. So I'm expecting something to be said supply. six times. It's just said supply. I, it feels like it's saying words a lot quicker this time around. Um, important to note, I do have a plasma ball out. That is chucking energy out into the atmosphere. Um, you'll see from the experiment yesterday that I did, when I put out the plasma ball for the first time, I had the K2 meter lit just to show you it is chucking energy out because the K2 meter goes red around this area and it's got a good a good radius probably i mean you'd be able to see better on the night vision camera of my my motions here and i don't know how well it's going to be perceived but plasma balls here k2 meter was still detecting it from about here so this whole bubble like that the you know the weed balls within the bubble in theory energy for spirits to use um spirit talk crap isn't in that bubble but it's very close to it um, I would probably still get a little bit of energy over there. It feels very cold today. It is October though. Um, at three in the morning. <laughs> well, half three in the morning now. But yeah, so important things to note about about these things. Again, just thought I saw a figure in the doorway. Uh, kind of peeking around the corner. Again, could be the bin reflection of messing me up. As I've been reporting that kind of thing in the past couple of sessions. Could be the fact that I've got um kind of a, a tray. He'll get you. He'll get you, okay. Um could be a fact I've got kind of like a tray with a white base there. Um there's ladders which have a reflection. Could be all sorts as to why I'm seeing things in that doorway. Footsteps. Okay, just said footsteps. Feel free to do footsteps, spirit. You know, make noises. Try and scare me. If you if you want to scare me, try and scare me. Um you can try that. I've got a punch on a Ouija board. So, you know, it's going to take a good bit to, to you know, actually scare me. <laughs> that was interesting. I don't know if you'd pick that up on camera, but there was what sounded like a muffled tap. It was probably like the fridge or something like that, but from that direction, could be next door. Um, yeah, it was like a, a weird rustle. Um, there's a cat ball on the top of the stairs, Spirit. If you could knock that down the stairs, that'd probably scare me. Hearing that smash on the floor would definitely scare me. If you knocked off any of these cat balls, that would that'd probably frighten me if you wanted to do that. Or, you know, if you wanted to make me really, really happy, um, you can light up the bear again. You know, if that was you earlier, you listen. The lit children up, sing. The children sing, again, a reference to children. And again, that's interesting as well, saying the children sing, because there was that experience I had months ago where I was asleep on the chair down here and I heard a female voice, like a female child sing. It was four distinct notes. It wasn't a song I knew. I don't believe it was next door. You can hear them through the wall, but um, when they sing, they, they properly sing. You hear music as a background. You don't just hear full random notes. Um, so that's interesting. I was, I'm really looking forward to analysing these words. Let's see if there is a pattern to any of this, because obviously this is based on the Warren's 28-day cycle theory. Um, Francis. Cool, so it said Francis. Um, and I've not left the house. Well, properly left the house. I've been to Asda today, and I think I might have gone yesterday, but um, for like 10 minutes. But, and, you know, I've been off 
So I was in work on Monday. I was then off, yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, next in Friday. So I've not been in work since Monday. So I've been here for a fairly consistent time at this point, for like a couple of days. So, you know, and with the plasma ball on, is this finally giving the spirits the energy they need to do stuff? I don't know. Is it just because it's gone past three in the morning now? So it's just like, right, this is peak activity. Because again, my intention has been to try and, like for the three in the morning sessions, to try and um, properly start at three, so that then the spirit has a good bit of ramp up time to then half three, full on chuck everything at it. Because I feel like when it reaches about quarter to four, it dies off. So that time between quarter past three, quarter to four, I think is, again, a big creek. Another big creek. Could be next door on that side. I don't think there's any wind. You must leave. You must leave. I don't know whether or not the camcorder would picked up the creeks. But yeah, there were two very loud creaks. Could be the wind, the draft from outside or whatever. I don't know how windy it is. There's usually kind of like power lines I can see, but I can't see them at night. There's a fireplace, literally where I'm pointing, which has a wooden board blocking it and a kind of like poster thing propped up against it. When there's a draft, they tend to wobble. It could be that. But yeah, I had two two large creeks uh, from that direction, uh, which is the first time I've heard them, like that noise, you know, across the past few days. So that's interesting. Interesting stuff happening already. I've kept my hand mostly off of the planchet on the Ouija board as well, is important to note. Important to note as well, so you'll notice on the, the night vision footage that I've been itching kind of here a lot. Um, this bit really itchy here, and there is kind of like a sharp pain there as well. Um, so, hide. okay, it's just said hide. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this progresses. Because, again, ah, that was a stabbing pain. Because, again, you must leave. Hide. But it's saying you must leave suddenly. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I'm not afraid, spirit. I've got, like, a stabbing pain in my chest here. At the same time, you said you must leave. And I'm not afraid. So, yeah. Um... Don't worry, I'm not afraid of you, spirit. You can make all the noises you want. Like I said, the, the only way you'd probably startle me at this point, spirit, is either if I like, see full apparition stood in that doorway, that will startle me. Like, proper clear as day apparition. Um, and if I do see that, you better show up on the camera. <laughs> um, or if one of the cat balls falls off, because that's stable, they're currently on. I can say I do need new cat balls. I think the batteries are going on them. The one I put at the top of the stairs, the batteries on that are definitely gone. Because those lights are really dim. Or it's just broken. But yeah, that's why I've stuck it at the top of the stairs, just as a, a potential trigger object for there. It's not on camera anywhere, but yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um. You'll, if it hits the floor in the kitchen, you should be able to hear it on one of the, either the camcorder or the live stream. Um, and if one of these falls, you should hopefully, I don't know whether you'd notice it flashing, but you should be able to hear it on one, on one of these devices. Um, they are perfectly stable, button up, positioned on there. They've been the same position the past few days. So if they suddenly fall, you know, that's, that's that. Right, come on, spirits. I'll move the board around it. 
Okay, that's just a nana. Important to note the stabbing pain in my chest has gone now. Okay, just heard a creak from in the kitchen. I'm pretty sure at the same time I heard a draft, like, heard, uh, heard the wind from outside. So. Or is it a plane? Children want to speak. The children feel free to speak. I think that might be a plane I can hear. I don't know. Either way, it's October. Probably is wind outside. So any creaks I'm hearing, I'm going to put that to the wind. Also, really sorry about my nose. Um, I am still ill with a cold. My nose is occasionally going to get blocked as I'm speaking. So apologies for any weird noises from my nose. If the children want to speak, they can speak. It's absolutely fine. If the children want to play with the toys. Like, if the children... What is in your hand? What is in my hand? Nothing. My hands are empty. My hands are empty, spirit. There is nothing in my hand. At all. Nothing here. This is a plant ship, which I'm occasionally touching. So, you know, if you want to use the energy of myself, use the energy of the plant of all, to move the plant ship, you can do. Do you want me to put my hand on the plant ship? To then move it? It does not feel that it move at all. Do you want to try and move the plant ship, spirit? Is there any spirits here at all? Any spirits in the area? Do you want to communicate? Do you want to use the energy of the plant of all? You know, you can feel free to use my own energy as well. Remove the plant ship and, you know, deliver sure. a message. Okay, I've said Sean. Spelled S-E-A-N. Yeah, come on, spirit, you can move the, the uh, I was going to say move the plasma ball there. You can move the plant ship. Light up the bear. There should be plenty of energy in the room for you now. You've got all the all the energy that the candles will be sending out. You've got the plasma balls energy, my own energy. I've had a nap as well before the investigation to make sure I'm kind of fully awake. I say it as a nap. It was like five hours of sleep. Um... Because it was from until like the initial intention was to go to sleep and wake up at about twelve and then start, you know, add add to the journal, finish off the notes for my next blog post, which will hopefully be up by the end of tomorrow. Because I'm in work the following day. Well, I say in the morning. by the end of Thursday it should be up. Um, I was going to put out a, one one of my coming soon posts and then I'll, I'll, I was asleep. Intelligent. Intelligent. Are you saying that you're intelligent, spirit? Um, yeah, so I was, I was going to do the coming soon post, and I was like, nah, I'm too tired. Well, the alarm went off at 12, I was like, oh, I'm way too tired for this. Um, and just went back to sleep and woke up at about half two. Um, so I've had a, a good, good long rest. And so I was like, try and wake up my half hour before the investigation starts, because then I'm, you know, it gives me a chance to properly wake up, so I'm then not groggy for the investigation. Um, and I'm somewhat awake, and then you can't be like, oh, it's because of, um, you know, you're seeing things because you, you've only just woken up and things. I'm just like, no, I'm refreshed and recharged and shouldn't be seeing things. It's not trick of the eyes or anything like that because I've been asleep, so I'm used to being in a dark room and all that. So, you know, it, it, by having that prolonged sleep before an investigation, it means you're ruling out a lot of the standard... Your family. Your family? Again, this is interesting. It said Nana, it said your family. I'm not trusting anything that is saying that. Um, could be. Could very well be family. Um, because, especially with it saying Nana, because the speculation about a particular spirit who could be here, uh, or at least could have potential of being here, um... And, yeah, because my dad's mum 
we referred to as Nutty Nana. Um, and she died years ago when I was a baby. Um, but are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? It depends on whether or not it's you speaking through the device, unless you're referring to any kind of knocking or anything like that. I'm not hearing any knocking um, at the moment. But if you're speaking accurately through the device, I'm hearing you through that. Um, but yeah, so interesting said it said Nana and said your family, because I said Alad's mum referred to as Nutty Nana, um, and I have some plates that used to be hers down in the cellar, and when, so you'll be able to see on the YouTube channel, I've got footage of the cellar, just, you know, off of camera at night, just an hour at a time during the night, um, and through certain parts of the footage, I mean, not only can you see that the bell light up, a cat ball falls off on things at one point, but um, you can hear a faint, really high pitched kind of clinking noise. Um, and down in the cellar, I do have a tub with these plates in that used to belong to her. You're making a mistake. You're making a mistake. This is also a common, a common. <laughs> message, you know, with the, are you okay, and you're making a mistake, and, you know, it, it seems like there is something trying to warn me here. Um, I'm going to persist. I'm going to persist throughout the, the 28 days. 11. 11? As you say, like, on day 11, stuff's going to happen. That's going to be interesting footage, isn't it? The day 11, stuff's going to happen. Well, either way, I've got live stream going, I've got camcorder going. And it's still recording. There. Well, so. There. That was spelt as T H E I R. Um, so, as in belonging to someone. Yeah, so going back to the plates, you could hear them slightly different. So, potentially, my dad's mum, looking at it, is attached to those plates, or at least can be attached to those plates. It is believed that she haunts, um, you know, the, the house I grew up in, um, because you can hear like, footsteps on the stairs and things. I do believe that there are potentially two entities there, a good one and a not so good one. Um, but, yeah. Sickness took me. Sickness took me. That's... That's interesting because, again, talking about Nutty Nana, um, she had schizophrenia. And I don't know if it was, I don't think it was old age. I think it was illness why she died. I don't know the specific ins and outs of it, but I know she was in and out of hospital and things. So, that's interesting. That you've got that narrative of Nana, your family sickness took me. How many word gaps? So one, two, three, four. And then boom. One, two, three, four, boom. Interesting. So Nana, and then you've got. God. Okay, that's also interesting because she was religious. Um, could just say God. So you've got Nana, and then four words, and then your family, and then four words sickness took me. And I would say, God, this is interesting. But I don't want to believe that it is her. There's a lot of things here. And you, you can look at the footage. I've not said anything which has prompted this. I have not talked about her at all throughout the nights that I've been here. Introduce yourself. That's a good point. That's usually something you're supposed to do with God, isn't it? My name's Daniel. <laughs> My name is Daniel. Um, it just said introduce yourself for if you didn't hear that on camera. Um, but yeah, I, my name is Daniel and I live here. That's, that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know, Spirit. Please tell me more about yourself. Um, but yeah, so it's interesting that it said, Nana, your family, sickness took me, and then God. Granted, God breaks that four-word gap thing, but... And obviously, this could just be a case of it's been our animal words and I am reading into it too much. 
But like I say, you've got a slight pattern. The pattern is potentially broken. We'll see in a in a couple of words' time whether or not that persists. But you know, you could argue. I've already got the thoughts there of she's potentially here connected to the plates, potentially haunting things. Um, so you you could say I'm already kind of projecting onto the word list from that. But that that's interesting. Like I, said, I don't necessarily trust it's her. Like you've got to say something really relevant, spirit, to the spirit you're potentially claiming to be. A really really relevant. And it, the issue here as well, if, if it's something pretending to be a. Uh, uh, oh, one of the candles has gone out again, and I didn't notice. Um, if it's only pretending to be her, you know, it's... Oh. Scroll. It, okay, it's just a scroll again. It is believed that spirits can um, read your thoughts, uh, which I absolutely believe that. I think that they can communicate with you psychically. Um, you know, I believe that everyone has psychic ability. Um, and you know, because spirits communicate. We enjoy the company. Of course, that's wrong. Well, it's just that we enjoy the company. I'm glad you enjoy the company, spirit. And be obviously, if spirits do communicate with one another in the afterlife, um, they don't have bodies, they don't have mouths. So how are they going to communicate? They're going to communicate through psychic ability. But to them, it probably doesn't seem like psychic ability because it's just it's like us. We don't register how we're communicating, just communicate. That's probably how it is for them, because uh, they don't have points, so they're just communicating how they can. They just probably refer to it as talking to one another. Um, but with us, we are using our physical forms to communicate, we are using our mouths to talk, and our throats to talk, you know. So, I believe everyone has psychic ability, basically, and that we don't use it because we don't have to use it, because we have our bodies to Angry. interact with the physical world. Angry? Okay, this is it. By the way, this is completely, yeah, potentially completely broken that rule of thought. Because uh, obviously, ignoring God, if God wasn't relevant, the next relevant word to the whole narrative would have would have been angry. So either God has broken the uh, the pattern, or angry has broken the pattern. One of those two. Um, that is if, if that was the spirit that's still there and another candle is going out it's like whack-a-mole with these candles <laughs> right, I'm going to wait for that to completely burn out and then I'll replace Edwardian. it Edwardian that's a bit not said before well he, he will have said it on a different word list I'm pretty sure but not on um, the list for the past few messages. Yeah, I heard like a click noise from there, so you'll you'll notice how to just stop them by looking direction. I heard a click. I think it is windy outside. I think there's some sort of draft or movement with the hat or something coming from that direction. Might the sound might have been caught on camera, I don't know. Um I can hear something technology wise whirring away. Um so you might be able to hear that on the camera as well. But there was kind of like a click that had occurred when um, I stopped talking briefly and looked in that direction. Do you believe we're real? Yes, I absolutely do believe you're real, spirits. I absolutely do. But some people don't believe that you're real. Um, I say some, it's, it's quite a lot of people don't believe that you're real, um, I think. Although, I don't know. Anyone who's sceptical, I feel like they... I don't think... Because it's one of those islands where... You've got weird coincidences, so I think anyone who's sceptical, I don't think they 100% disbelieve, I think that they 99% disbelieve. It's like there's someone I work with who says that they don't believe it, however, they're open to it. So they'll gladly look into it and be interested and be like, you know what, can't explain that. And you, you know that that's a good mindset to have. Um, it's like with myself, I believe it exists, but I also acknowledge the fact it hasn't been proven. 
And I think that's a hide. good mindset. Again, it, it said hide again. I'm not going to hide, spirit. I'm not going to hide. If you want me to hide, light up the bear again. Try and scare me by making the cat balls fall, by lighting up the bear, by knocking over the bear. If you knock over the bear, that's Wyatt. really good. Again, it said Wyatt again. Is Wyatt the word that it's going to be saying potentially six times? This is interesting. Again, a reason why I'm uploading the word list to Facebook is you can look through and have a look to see how often it repeats words. Granted, the word lists I've uploaded so far are from a year ago. Um, actually, they're not even from a year ago. They're from like two years ago. They're, they're from during COVID times at the moment. Um, when I say during COVID times, I mean like during lockdowns. Um, so the app will undoubtedly have gone through various updates and things since then, um, as I know that it has done, uh, whether that be just the appearance or, you know, what words it can say. For instance, not too long ago, it was just spouting Latin, and it's not done that today, so clearly someone added Latin to the word base. It started saying Latin trapped every other here. word. Trapped here? How are you trapped here, spirit? Um, so yes, yeah, so it started sprouting Latin. I think the, the, anyone using the app just kind of kicked off about that and were like, Oi, what are you doing? Adding Latin. I don't understand what it's saying. So I think that they've clearly removed that feature. Which is a shame because I think that you need to have a mix of old English and modern English. Because obviously, you know, old spirits from like Roman times, they might not know modern English. So this, it might be translating what they're saying and it might be inaccurate, you know? Living. Living. All right. That's like pain in my shoulder here. But it's fine. It's quite funny that um, I very much have an attitude of hey, it'll be fine. Um, like even because like, a couple of streams ago I said about breaking my finger uh, back in January. Straight away when I did that I got up and said I'm fine. And then I looked at my finger and I was like oh no I'm not fine. <laughs> and then passed out. Um, but yeah the, if you've seen Monty Python I think it's Monty Python anyway, the tis but a scratch. Um, that is very much the way outlook on life. So yeah. Um, come on, spirit. But I've got a lot of energy. I've had a good nap. I'm feeling very energised. You've got the plasma ball there as well. Notice as well. It was I, me. It was me, okay. I'm not quite sure what you're referring to there. Maybe because I mentioned the bear, maybe you're saying it was you who laid up the bear. If it was you, Spirit, do it again. Because like I say, first time around, don't know if it was just slightly longer settling period than usual with the bear, so please, light it up again. Touch the arms, touch the legs, it'll flash different colours, as you've seen many times there. Okay, I've got plants on the board here. And a lot of people probably watch the night vision and be like, You've not got your hand on the plan chip. What's the point of having a Ouija board out if you've not got your hand on the plan chip? The answer is because one of the rules is to not take your hand off the plan chip. Um, otherwise, you can just open all sorts of portals and things. That's the logic. So I'm like, you know what? I'm testing that. I'm going to see if activity ramps up throughout the, the time we're doing this. And so to do that, hand off plan chip, you know? Granted, plan ship might not move because you, the whole theory as to why plan ship moves is they're using your energy through the board and you need contact and you know all of that lot. But you know, if Ouija boards are as dangerous as people say, the plan ship should be able to move on its own, right? There are many stories out there about how people have had their hands on the plan ship and then suddenly it's all crazy and all over the place, you know, and then you're spelling out all sorts and they've taken their hands off in panic and then it's still gone and you know, if if it if those stories are true, why is the plan ship not moving now? We're on night four of investigation. Some. Some? Okay, you're saying that only some stories that happened to it, potentially. 
Um, but yeah, anyway, you know, why is it not moving now, you know? This is night four. I've been investigating for, I think it's probably about half an hour now. I mean, today's investigation is blown by. I'm probably going to go until about half past six, I'm aware it. The actual investigation itself was delayed quite substantially by the whole SD card issue, which I'm, I've hopefully found a fix to now. So hopefully we're not going to have that issue tomorrow. Um, but it seems like I just need to insert the SD card afterwards. But, um, but yeah, so, you know, if there's stuff to eat boards, why am I on night number four? Pretty much at least four hours through the investigation. Why is this not moving? Why is the bear not lighting up? Why are the balls not doing anything, you know? Granted, like, like I said previously, I've not looked back through the footage yet. I've not seen anything that's potentially happened. I yeah, have so... buzzing. That's a strange one. You're going to create a buzzing noise on the camera? I can't hear a buzzing noise. Important to note, looking back through the word list, it has said it was me some buzzing. So are you saying you created a buzzing noise? That's interesting. Uh, I can't remember what I'm saying now. I think I was just probably going on a bit of rant, wasn't I, about how I'm like... Are you too scared? Are you too scared? No, I'm not scared at all, spirit. I'm not scared at all. I'm not scared at all. If I was scared, I wouldn't be sat here at five past four in the morning, candles lit, Ouija board out, punch it on the Ouija board without me touching it, you know? This should be proof enough. The doorway is making me feel slightly uneasy, I will own up to that. But I have no reason to actually fear it, because it's just a doorway. I've not seen full apparition there. I've not seen the cat balls fall off. If they lit up, I'd be impressed. Although I think the batteries are going. So the sensitivity isn't quite there. So if they fell off, I'd be like, ooh, that shouldn't have happened. Baby. Baby? There's a baby here playing with the bear. You know? There's a little if there's a little baby spirit playing with the bear. Make it light up, make it flash different pretty colours. You know? But yeah, it's uh, but as I say, four hours for investigation. At least. And nothing's happened. So, you know, it's it's one of them. I might you're not doing a very good job of, of showing you this. So the only thing I can say is the wordless has been interesting. Light. Light. Are you gonna create some sort of light? Are you gonna show up as a ball of light on the camera, maybe? As an orb or something? You might do, you might not, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but I say, like, a significant amount of time for investigation now, and unless I analyse the word lists and see each night patterns are starting to appear more frequently, or words are being spoken faster, um, because I'm going to work out, you know, average amount of time taken for it to, to say words across the session, um, because obviously it would be unfair for me to say, oh, it said X amount of words this session, X amount of words that session, because I'm doing it for slightly different lengths of time, because I, I can't remember what time to start investigating. Um, obviously, I'll be able to talk at work this, but I'm going to work out the average time it's taken to respond, so. Please don't stop. I'm not going to stop, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going through the, through the thing. I'm going to keep going for like another 20 minutes, probably, at least for this investigation, and I will keep on investigating throughout the month. Um... But yeah, so, like I say, unless there's some sort of pattern with the word lists that's happening, 
I've not gathered any substantial evidence yet, which again, this is the reason why I've not been quite prompted to write in the journal just yet. You've got slight things with the word list, which I'm sure I'll pick up on again um, when looking through the word lists with certain patterns and certain repeated words, certain overlaps between lists, etc. But um, and if your name is Jim, please like the bear, you know, because I'd said that across a couple of lists now, so is that a significant name? I'm pretty sure Jim is a name, by the way, connected to one of the dolls. I think. It's not called Jim, but it's called James, I'm pretty sure. I could be very, very, very wrong with that. But I feel like one of them's called James. Again, I could be very wrong, but I don't I don't know for sure. Um And I'm not gonna look either. I have got notes on the dolls. Or at least I've got notes on at least four of the dolls. Um I need to make notes on the other ones if I haven't. But I'm not going to look at any names, any information about them until after this invest, like basically November. I'm going to look at the names because I don't want to project onto the list. So at the moment, I'm like, I think these are the names, but I don't know Vicky. for sure. Vicky. See again, it's one of I'm talking about names and then Vicky is said, but I've been rambling a lot throughout the investigations. That doesn't always say things in tune with what you're saying. My logic here is if they have listened to you, which my uncle's looked through the, the coding and he said that it doesn't have the coding to, to listen to you. It's not that sophisticated. So if it did, I don't think it would do it as inconsistently as it does. Because obviously, from the sceptical argument of these apps, they are designed to spook you, right? They're, they're designed for you to kind of mess around with the paranormal and be like, oh, let's get scared. So you'll get the app. Forward. Just said forward. Come forward, spirit. Play with the bear. Make it light up. Touch the arms, touch the legs. It definitely works. Use energy from the plasma ball. Um, but yeah, so they're designed, in theory, to spook you. So there are certain ones which are clearly faked and they're designed to spook you. You know, just a bit of fun kind of thing, you know? This app is interesting because it's, de it's designed and portrayed as a legitimate paranormal tool. It saves your word lists. It timestamps the words. It tells you the dates. It saves them as proper files. Like I said, the coding doesn't have the capacity to, to listen to you, but if it was a fake app, looking from the sceptical argument, surely it would listen to you more frequently? Surely it would have a clearer pattern to things? I've seen comments on certain apps, say, like, Necrophonic, that kind of thing, where people have been like, oh, it was really good at first, but then I started noticing that it was just spitting out what I was saying, but backwards and distorted. You know, with that kind of thing. So these apps, if they do listen to you, they take that in, they mangle it up, they chuck it back out, and you can notice that pattern if you analyse it enough. With Spirit Talker, I've done a good bit of analysis on these word lists. I've used it a lot now. Many lives were lost. Many lives were lost? How were they lost, Spirit? How were the lives lost? Um... But yeah, and I've not, I've seen little glimmers of patterns, but nothing consistent across word lists. That was weird. So, over here, um, against the wall, kind of a little bit above the fireplace, I saw a light, like a candle flame. So I don't know if this is like, trick of the light. I have a mouth really itchy. Um... I don't know if it's like trick of the light, trick of the hands or whatever, but it was like seeing a candle flame up, um, kind of above where I've got some roses on the on the table at the moment. Kind of a little bit high in between my I've got a skeleton hanging on the wall, you know, Halloween decorations and some roses there. Kind of in between that like kind of roughly where the skeleton's legs are, I saw what looked like a candle flame flickering and then kind of drift down a bit. It will not be on any cameras. Ooh, or will it? 
I'm going to have a quick look at this live stream. I don't think it would have caught it on the live stream if... Right, let's have a look. Paranormal. Which side is that? It will have caught it on the live stream. Because I can vaguely see um, the roses and things on that stream. So, if there was legitimately something there... Uh, if there was a light source shining in that in that bit for a moment, I mean, this is just a paranormal, so maybe it's only not to it and saying, yes, that was paranormal that you just witnessed. But yeah, it was weird. It was like a little candle flame that appeared on that wall by the skeleton's leg and kind of drifted down a little bit. Um, could be trick of the light, trick of the candles, etc. I've not experienced it before, but that was strange. Because usually when you see stuff, um, it's like shadows, etc. Uh, like I know that there is a thing that can happen with your eyes where um, I learned this in physics in school. You can have like a blind spot, um, where if you look a particular direction, you'll have like this little black spot that can appear, um, which is probably actually to like a lot of paranormal stuff. It's just that black spot you're seeing, and you're like, oh, there's a shadow over there, and you just look in the direction, which is where it then goes. But to see what looked like a candle flame. And not a black spot. Could just be the flicking of the candles, etc. There might be any candle that had a particular flare up, I don't know, but um that was that was interesting. Interesting thing to see. Um I don't know if I was looking directly at it either, so um but yeah, that's just important things to note. Um and that will have been on the camera for the live stream. Uh, okay, it's just said sick, and I am currently ill, not quite sick sick. I mean, I know next door, I think, we're possibly throwing up the other night, but... Um, I'm going to put my hand back on the planchet. Do I move the planchet, spirit? Move the planchet. I mean, this is feeling a bit more glidey than usual. I don't know whether or not you've been able to see that there on the, on the camera. My hand is feeling somewhat shaky, though, today. My legs are feeling really restless as well. Come on, spirit. Move the planchet on the board. This is good, like having the planchet, like having the board on this case because it's providing a really good solid surface the board is stuck to. Because in the past, like thought the planchet can somewhat drift. You can hear a really bad scraping noise when it does. But um, in the past, the board is kind of slid across the floor with it when I've tested it by doing this. Um, like, come on, spirit, move the planchet. Move this, this bit of plastic I'm holding. Again, I'd much rather it all be wooden, but... Um, just because, you know, with wooden being a... No, I would say like a more natural resource. Melissa. Not... Melissa? Okay. You know, wood hasn't gone through quite the same processes as plastic does. Plastic is very much so like a man-made material. Uh, whereas wood is natural. Perhaps it's still been intended to, but... Um, I feel like if the Ouija board was properly wooden, because I think it's plastic, and if the planchet was wooden, I, I think that you'd probably get more results. That would be interesting to look into, actually, if people get more results on wooden Ouija boards than if they get results on, like, on the plastic ones, you know? Come on, spirits. And again, an important thing to note is I've you can see on the on the camcorder I've probably been shuffling about um like with my legs and things tonight. I just can't get comfy. The bear hasn't gone off as I've been moving. So when it laid up early, I'm putting back down to a settling period. Thank you very much, spirit. If it was you who had laid up the bear much earlier, but um I, I'm just, unless you do it again, I'm putting it down to just settling period. As worry. Okay, I just said worry. Um, are you worried, spirit? I should probably like, stop waffling onto myself and like, probably try and communicate with the spirit more. 
Yeah, that's probably the criticism, isn't it? That I'm responsible about random things. I'm kind of doing an analysis as I'm investigating instead of investigating. Are you worried, spirit? I'm going to just like try and focus on you now, spirit, instead of my random waffling. Move the planchet on the board. One thing to note as well, uh, especially now that you've got the board on the night vision camera, it'll be interesting across the day because obviously I'm moving it around a bit, so I'm attributing that to um, myself moving it. It'll be interesting to see if there's an increase in me moving it as investigations progress. Um, because obviously I'm just writing off as, oh, I'm moving it, I'm moving it. By, by then, it, it just shifted. And I was like, oh, that was probably just me moving my arm, etc. So it'll be interesting to see pregnant. if that does move more pregnant. You're pregnant, Spirit? You're dying pregnancy. Is that why there's a, a baby potentially here? So again, sick. Worry, pregnant. Is your name Melissa? As well? Is there a woman here called Melissa who was pregnant, possibly died in childbirth? Very strange about so, because like this house as well, important to know, isn't that old. Um I think it's it was around in like the nineteen hundreds. I think there's a building I, on the end, because they're all attached houses. Um which does have a date of like 1890 on it, I think. Possibly, it does have a date on it, I need to double check that. And because they're all attached houses in theory, they're all built at the same time. Um, listen to this. Listen to this, okay, I will listen. I'll be quiet. Okay, that's interesting. That's what you want to hear, isn't it? Just be like, okay, listen to it. Okay, I'm listening to spirit. Devil. Okay, that's fun. If the devil is here, you know, communicate. Light up the bear if the devil is here. Move the, the planchet on the Ouija board. Make the balls fall. Because if the devil is here, it's definitely going to be powerful enough to do that. Definitely. The living. The living? What about the living spirit? Again, I'm taking all these words as kind of, it is saying them, but... At the end of the day, it is random word generator. I think some of the words of what spirits will be saying, but then I think others will just be random. Or at least misinterpreted. Come on, spirit. Important thing to know, I know it could do it by the end of the investigation. It has not said anything about needing energy since I've had that plasma ball on. Short. Your life was short? Why was it short, Spirit? Now, granted, I probably switched on the puzzle board too soon because I did, what, like, 
two and a half investigations and then switched on the, the part of the ball. So that's not a great sample size. Because, you know, investigation one, it said about energy. Investigation two, it said about energy. Didn't say anything in investigation three, but then I did switch on the plasma ball and then said this is helping. So I'm like, okay. And then investigation four, I've switched it on from the start. So you could argue, well, you've only had the eight off for two investigations. We'll see how things progress. Because what will be very interesting now is if I keep the plasma ball on, because the only way to properly test it now will be keep the plasma ball on until day 10, maybe. So I have a long list of plasma ball entries. And then it, it won't tend to do with energy. And then if I switch off the plasma ball, like don't visual. use it. Visual? It is providing a nice visual, I suppose. But then if after like day 10, I do a couple of investigations then where I don't use the plasma ball, and then if it says something about energy again, because I don't know how long the plasma ball energy is going to be lingering for, so I may need to do it for like three investigations. And then if it then says about energy within those three, then about, like, ooh, that's interesting. And then I can use the plasma ball again. As well, like if the next day as well, it then says about energy, and then I use the plasma ball again the following day, and then if it doesn't say You are nice. Like, you are nice? Thank you, spirit. I'm glad you think I'm nice. Again, this is a, a a trend, isn't it? A narrative that's gone across these word lists of you, you saying that I'm nice because you and I, you're saying I was polite and nice to meet you and things. So, um, great, great. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you very much, Spirit. If you if you you know saying that I'm nice and that I'm great and things. If you think that, please light up the bear, like you. I know you can do it. You've done it before. You've done it in this room before as well, I believe. Could have been the batteries, but it was going off in this room. But yeah, you've done it in the cellar. So whichever spirit is in the cellar... You're very polite. I feel like you're very polite. You are nice. Great. You're very polite. Thank you very much, spirit. Thank you very much. But please, if you think all of these things, light up the bear. Please do that. If there's a spirit in the cellar who's powerful enough to light it up, because that is where the bear tends to light up, please enter this room. Join in the conversation. Light up the bear. Touch the bear. Make the arms and legs light up. Knock it over if you want. Use all of the energy that you're getting from me, because I'm still feeling very energetic. Use all the energy from me. Use all the energy from the plasma ball. Use the energy from this uh, the tablet I've got set up, from, from the other tablet I've got set up, or the camcorder I've got set up. Use the energy from those devices. Knock over the bear. You know, push it over. Light up the arms and the legs. Do that. Use the energy that I'm putting into the Ouija board. Look, I'll, I'll do this. Look, I'm creating lots of energy. Possibly creating portals, I'm not too sure. But well, that should give you some energy. But you've got the plasma ball there as well. So you've got plasma ball, you've got weed board. There's a bear right here. Arms and legs will flash different colours, will not harm you, will not scare me. Come on. Make them light up. Because if that bear lights up now, after it's been still and not lighting up for a good, good hour, <laughs> um, Sitting, the bear is, is sitting right there, spirit. If you're sitting in front of the bear, just give it a good push. You know? Push the arm, push the legs, focus all of your energy into that bear to make it light up. It would make me extremely happy if you could do that. You know, if you learn to light, if you've been accurately communicating with me, any spirit here at all, if anyone has said anything accurate through that device, light up the bear. Because you should have the energy to do it. Because like I can say, there is a spirit here who months ago, I'm pretty sure, has led up the bear. At least once. Now you're on camera, then you, you're not doing it. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not going to scare me, you're not going to scare anyone who's watching. You're going you're gonna to make them very interested, but come on. 
You can do it. Hazel. Hazel? Hazel, if you're called Hazel, if you are here and you are called Hazel and you know you want to communicate, best way to do it, make the bear light up. Knock the balls off of the side, you know, make them fall down. The reason I'm saying that and not to light them up is because you might be trying to light them up and the, the batteries might not be making them sensitive enough. But the bear, absolutely, you should be able to do that, especially with that, that leg that lit up earlier. If it was you who lit up the leg, light up again. You know? You know, I'm still feeling very energetic. Plasma ball still going, so you should be getting a lot of energy from the atmosphere, you know? So come on, spirit. Use the energy. Myself, the plasma ball, the candles, all of that. Put it into the bear. Knock it over, light it up. Even if you don't knock it over, you just light up the arms and the legs. That'll do. That'll be absolutely brilliant. If you could do that, it made me very, very happy. I will not be scared at all. Um, and it'll just show you a nice spirit. Because I do believe that you're, you're a nice spirit. Come on. You got very quiet on there, so... Hopefully, you're putting all your energy into the bear. Hopefully. Come on. Come on, spirit. I don't, I don't worry about the words. Don't worry about actually talking. Just light up the bear. That's the best this thing you can secret. do. This is secret. This is secret. It doesn't have to be secret, spirit. It doesn't have to be secret. Oh, the spirit doesn't like that and tell the world about this. Ugh. It's like that meme, the Lord of the Rings meme with Frodo and be like, alright, then you keep your secrets. <laughs> kind of thing, you know? Come on, don't be stubborn, spirit. Light up the bear. Uh, that camera can't see you light up the bear. But that, that camera will not see the bear light up. And this camera, look at it, you can't see much on that one. You, you can't see much at all, so come on, light up the bear. Come yeah, on. Stop so putting loads of energy out. Use my energy. Hunter. Hunter. That's interesting. Um, that's funny as well. Just from the Star Wars. I, I, I like Star Wars, and there's a joke me and a friend at work always make about uh, the Bad Batch and Omega. I'm like, we've got to go back for Hunter. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It's. If you know Star Wars, you'll you'll and have seen the live action, you'll know why I find that funny. Um, yeah, come on, spirit, light up the bear. Let's focus on that. Let's focus on the bear. Let's focus on lighting it up. Come on, touch the arms, touch the legs. If there's a child here, you know it's a nice toy for you to play with. I actually, tempted you know on the next stream to not have the bear there. And I might put it on the chair. I'll see how much of the chair you can see on the night vision footage. Because I think you can still see the chair on, on the Facebook Live. Because I don't Lily. know. Lily? Hello, Lily. If you're called Lily, you know, enter the room, touch the bear. Make it light up. In fact, one reason why the bear might not be lighting up is because I'm right next to it. One thing I think, like with spirits and whatnot, is they are quite shy, or at least can be quite shy. Because um, when the bears lived in the past, one thing I've noticed is I've not been this close to it. Which, you know, straight away from a skeptical argument, you'd be like, ooh, well, that's weird. Um, because usually, if, like, like, if it lights up, you straight away like, ooh, vibrations. Which I would have caused, but. Um, so I think I'm probably too close to the bear for it to, for a spirit to light it up. See, really, what I want to do is put the bear in that doorway. If I had another camera, I would set it up in the kitchen, looking through to the door.
Yeah, because initially when... <laughs> suddenly my nose just died. When considering doing the YouTube lives, which I'm going to still try and figure out. Um, so, I was going to put it on the chair, looking towards the cameras. However, I feel like it's more beneficial to have it in the kitchen. Looking out that doorway. And then I can put the bear in the doorway, perhaps. And then I'll be able to put a cat ball. Brilliant. No, this is not brilliant. Are you saying that's a good idea, Spirit? If I put the bear in the doorway? You say you'll then make it light up? My left shoulders are really cold. Um... Weird feeling. My left shoulder feels really, really cold. But my right shoulder doesn't. It's very strange. It's kind of like, you know, when you cut off blood circulation. I don't think it have done, but, you know, and then you start getting the flow of blood back to it, and then it suddenly feels really cold. That is kind of how it feels. That's strange. Um... Yeah, so you saying that's a good idea, Spirit? Like a brilliant idea to put the, the bear over there? I'm going to have to look into that for the next session. Because I know neither of these cameras are going to pick that up. Because you've got this stuff in the way on the night vision camera, I think, blocking the floor. Mildred. Mildred? If your name is Mildred, touch the bear, light it up, light up the cat walls. Right, I think we've been going for about an hour now, haven't we? A bit over an hour. So yeah, so that's an idea for the next for the next session, because the bear's not been going off at all. I'm getting the impression that it won't go off. Which is you know, you could argue paranormal reasons, you could argue not paranormal reasons. Um, you know, you could be like, Oh, it's not going off because it's not supposed to go off, you've got a new battery in there, etc. 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 From the point of view from somebody who believes it's paranormal you could argue it's not going off because it is too close to me, the spirit doesn't want to be this close. It's a very crowded room, um, which the spirit might not want to be walking through. Uh, the spirit might be over here and might not want to go across all of this nonsense to, um, to light up the bear. Because, you know, you don't know how it works, the spirit. Like, the, 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 you know, the perception of they can walk through things, but they might not want to. Um, so if I put the bear over there, it then might light up. Like, again, as I'm discussing this idea, it then says light. So you like that idea, do you, Spirit, of me moving the bear into that doorway for the next investigation? Do you like that idea? If you like that idea, make one of the cat balls light up. Because if you are over there, and you want to do stuff over in that area, make the cat balls light up. Now, usually I would say make the bear light up, but you clearly don't want to make the bear light up. Um, if you did something about it, then I'd be like, you know, well, that's, that's brilliant evidence to say you want it over there. But um, if you want the bear over there by the doorway, Light up the cat balls. Okay, important thing to note. With me, the doorway, that is the darkest space in the house at the moment that I have visible to me. So, of course, I'm going to be like, oh, spooky doorway. Because it's the darkest space. This room is candlelit. That room is not. Eli. Eli? Bit of a weird, like, well, not weird name, but random name. Random name. So yeah, so I might look into that, but I know for a fact... I lied to you. I lied to you? What did you lie about, Spirit? Now, I have to know, because like, earlier on, obviously, I was speculating about a um, family member. I mean, I'm like, I don't trust that, and now it said I lied to you. What did you lie about, Spirit? Very honest of you to, to say that you lied to me. What did you lie about? No, 
now, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say the specifics in relation to what he lied about, but so what did you lie about, Spirit? Focus on that. Because you you're clearly not gonna be lighting up anything, as far as I can see. Unless you want to prove me wrong and suddenly light stuff up. But I don't think you'll you'll do that today. My eyes have suddenly gone tired, so I think that the spirit's probably somewhat drained. The devil is real. <laughs> the devil is real. Alright, if the devil is real, you know, light up the bear. <laughs> Play with the bear if the devil is real. Uh, okay, it's quite funny because the, the most recent episode of Most Haunted, you had Carl um, saying similar things of being like, oh, if the devil, like, being like, oh, the devil wants some, I'll, I'll punch him as well, or, you know, something like that. He made some sort of comment, and then afterwards he's like, oh, but you know what, imagine the actual devil himself turned up, and, uh, you know, <laughs> and saying that he basically just wet his pants if, he, if that happened. But, you know, um, so yeah, I'm doing the same. Like, the actual devil is real. Why took that bear? That's conclusive proof then. Um, because again, that, that kind of entity you think would have the power to, to do that. Granted, you just might not want to. This is an important point to make as well. My name is Anna. Your name is Anna. Hello, Anna. Please light up the bear. Please light up the cat balls. Like I say, if you're over there, if you're in that area, push the cat balls for me. Just give them a, a nudge. Just push them. Push them hard enough for them, to, for them to light up. That way you'll get my attention. I don't know whether or not it'll be caught on the night vision camera, because they've not actually lit up yet, and I've not reviewed the footage of it, but... Yeah, if the bear lights up, that'll, that'll be caught on the on the Facebook live stream. But I was saying, I think I might move to the door, because I could always stand a table or something there. Or, you know, I could... Yeah, I might, for the next session... Because I think on the night vision camera, you can see where I have a tray, uh, kind of, on the, the thing there. So, if you can see that, because my back's really against the chair, I might do it so I move that. She killed me. She killed me. Who killed you? Who killed you, spirit? So I might next session move that cat ball, because the bear will probably block it, to here. And then, because that's where I had activity with the cat ball at one point. Um and then move the bear up to here, so not on the CD rack, but on the, the tray. I might do that. Granted, it won't be in the doorway. But it might get a bit more activity over there. Oh. See, suddenly you're on time, suddenly tired. Right, we're going to do the, the usual experiment I do to end these sessions, uh, Spirit. So I'm going to, once you say your next word, I will be quiet and I will just sit here with my eyes closed uh, for three words length, right? Um, and I'll keep my hand on the planchet. While four lights. Four, uh, four lights, okay, four lights. So I'm going to uh, 
sit here with my eyes closed. So please light up the bear, light up the balls. I will not see if you do. Um, so yes, yeah, so if, if you wanted to play with them, but you just didn't want me to see, now's the time for you to light up the bear, light up the balls. You can move the Ouija board, uh, not the Ouija board, you can move the planchet on the Ouija board to whatever you want. Um, and yeah, so I will not see. And yeah, so I'm going to be quiet now. Okay, <laughs> so that was the third word. That felt like it took ages to say that third word. A very, very, very important note to make. When it said hung, uh, if it said that was me hung and dancing. <laughs> couple of important notes, uh, a couple of important notes. When it said hung, when it said that second word, really I should have gestured when I, when I heard it. I heard a sh kind of sound right in front of me. Um, like I said, earlier on in the stream, um, I don't know whether you, you've seen me jump, but because I, I did feel slightly startled by it, um, as far as I'm aware, nothing fell, but you've got the fireplace, you've got that wooden board, you've got a post thing in front of it. It's one of those weird posters where if you look at certain angles, it, the picture changes. 
it sounded somewhat like my, it kind of, it wasn't that, it was kind of like a sh kind of that kind of noise. It sounded like something running across something, like, like that kind of, I don't know if you heard that then, but that kind of sound. I didn't move as far as I'm aware, and it was in front of me. Um, but yeah, the, when it, it said hung, and then I heard that noise, like a sh um was it the was it the board moving was it the poster was it something paranormal i don't know but all i know is that i i heard the sh kind of noise it it wasn't someone saying gargoyle. Said, gargoyle. it wasn't someone saying sh it wasn't someone saying anything it was the sound of something sliding against something um Okay, I was concerned. <laughs> I just that candles was gonna. I just saw like puff of smoke, and I was like, okay. And I was like, oh no, just the candles gone out. Um. So yeah, so when it's head hung, I need to look back at the footage to see if you can hear it on the camera. But there is a sh kind of noise, very close to when it's head hung. I think it was just after it's head hung. Um. And then it's a dancing afterwards, which again, interesting given the narrative of what it was doing earlier with your family, with Nana, your family, uh, I, I died of sickness, I think was the other word I associated with it, and then potentially God. Um, dancing is also relevant to that. Um, as that family member dance, like she like, probably got like a, a Blackpool ballroom. So I was expecting that to have been the to, the next one in the, the list, but it never said it, um, but it has said it now. So that's interesting. Um, so that's potentially related. But yeah, so it is currently 10 to 5, so this is the longest I stream my life. I've done. Hopefully this saves all the footage, because I have been pushing up the footage. Um, I hated my life. All right. Well, I'm going to end the stream now. I'm going to end the footage just so that then the SD card isn't full. Hopefully it's not full. Um, it is saying it's still recording. So, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. I'm going to switch that off, actually. Um, actually, one, la one last word, Spirit. One final word for you to say. Can you say goodbye? Because I don't know whether I did this uh, last time. Can you say goodbye to end it on? Come on, final word, final word, because I've been going for over an hour now, like well over an hour, I think, so. Um, like an hour and a half, something like that, potentially. Come on, can you say goodbye? So it's pretty much five and more, yeah, it's like ten to five, so come on. Can you say goodbye, Spirit? Because given that I try and stream at like three o'clock, I have been streaming for about an hour and a half. Well, I've been streaming for two hours on Facebook, um, but you know that camera will only have it for like an hour and a half of footage, so it's probably approaching full SD card status at this point. Um, so hopefully, it saves everything. Hopefully. Um, my main hope. Fond memories here. Fond memories here. Okay. My main hope is that the SD card at least has caught that sound. Um, even if it doesn't catch Michael Biden things, hopefully it's recorded that sound. I am really hoping it has. All right. Thank you very much for the speaking spirit. I'm gonna stop that now. I'm gonna stop spirit talker. Boop. There we go. Uh, so thank you very much, spirit. I'm going to move the planchet to goodbye. There is going to be a point where I'm going to stop moving it to goodbye, um, as that is one of the, the rules. So I've moved it to goodbye. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for communicating, Spirit. I'm going to stretch my legs because, again, I've been set out for like two hours. The light is on. Switch off the plasma ball. And yeah, uh, so I'll say goodbye on the Facebook live stream first.
Um, although I don't know, I'd, I might change it. So I might say goodbye on the camera first, but I'll do that the next stream as I'm already over here. Um, just because, you know, you want to have the live footage ideally last longer than your not live footage because otherwise stuff might happen. Like, like I've still got the cat balls switched on. So if they suddenly light up when I'm not live, seems a bit iffy. But yeah, so I'll do that next time. Um, but yeah, as you can see, earlier on in the stream, I noticed about seeing the, the candle flame. It was right here at the tip of my finger, um, kind of towards that back wall. So where that skeleton's leg is, it was roughly there that I saw it. Um, so it'll be interesting to look back on the footage, see if there was anything. Because uh, I have been noting a fair few things that I've been seeing throughout these streams. But I doubt any of it will be caught on camera because, you know, trick of the light, well, trick of the candle light, um, and um, just general, it's late. But like I say, this is why I have naps beforehand because then I'm, I'm awake and energised and it rules out, oh, you're just tired, you've been up for too long, etc. So, um, yeah, so hopefully you've enjoyed the stream. Hopefully it's caught some good stuff. Um, I think the words list was interesting tonight. Broken the pattern, nothing was said six times, um, so that pattern's been broken. But there was an interesting narrative <laughs> that was going on re regarding a potential family member speaking on the device. So, um, you yeah, know, interesting stuff coming through. Um, hopefully that persists, um, as, you know, according to the bronze theory. Activity is only going to increase. Um, how much can you actually see? Can you see the chair okay you can see the chair because you can see where that bag is i was considering putting the bear on the chair i might not um i might have that on the yeah i might have the a cat ball currently sitting where the bear is over here and then move the bear to be visible on the camcorder um just because i feel like the bear isn't it's not lighting up here so it might be a location thing i don't know but we'll we'll test that out next time um and again interesting it's not said it needed energy said it for the first two sessions switch on the plasma ball it hasn't said it since i it feels like it's been quick with the words but i don't know um so yeah so i hope you've enjoyed the stream hope to see you next time uh thank you very much uh everyone who's liked the video uh thank you for uh, watching the video as well um and yeah i'll see you you know, in about 20 hours time or so. So yeah, uh, goodbye.